What's up guys, it's Dan again, and I'm bringing you another gameplay, and hopefully you guys actually enjoy that I'm posting the gameplay pretty close between the time as opposed to uh, spending like an entire month not posting or something like that. Hopefully I can post this relatively soon. I, I know this gameplay might not look like it's going to be great in the beginning. Trust me, it's a lot more worthwhile, I guess, but uh, it's, uh, it's a nuclear gameplay. But, um, I'm not just going to show the nuke. It's like an entire game. It didn't take me the entire game to get the nuke. Um, but, uh, it's one of those games that's a lot more high-paced, a lot more fast-paced for me. And I love that. That That's the whole reason why I play Ground War, or the whole reason why I run lightweight on a lot of my classes. I definitely go on, like, a, you know, a bunch of, de like, a little death streak in the beginning. But, trust me, it picks up. The action just comes right in and boom, it just starts smacking you in the face. And that's just how I felt this whole game. I felt like everybody just started running up and getting up in front of me. And, uh, you know, I might have played it a little bit safe at a few parts, but, you know, like the whole point being is that I was trying to play smart, I was trying to play aggressive, at the same time just rushing at everybody. And that's pretty much the name of the game when it comes to me. I'm just going to run, rush, balls out until every single one of these guys starts to quit or just you know tries to come back with everything they've got but you know call me a tryhard call me whatever I'm just you know a guy that likes to have fun and this is the exact way I have fun I don't have I don't have fun making people rage quit I have fun making people stay throughout the lobby and take it that's just the whole point otherwise I'm just gonna you know be like every other YouTube commentator out there and start posting you know 100 pluses 200 pluses and all that stuff and honestly like, I'm not going to sit through and watch an entire video if somebody just used Dog Swarm, Dog Swarm, or Lodestar Swarm, Lodestar Dog, something like that. That's kind of like the gameplay I posted last time. The whole reason I posted it was to pretty much just say, like, you know, anybody can really get them. As, you know, as long as you're playing relatively smart and, you you know, you have pretty pretty good map knowledge and you're comfortable with the play style and all that stuff. It's just, if you're experienced, if you play a bit and you understand how to you know how the spawn system works and stuff you can definitely abuse it big time right here I get on like you know I go right into the spawn and they start spawning everywhere behind me in front of me and pretty much this is just kinda like I'm not trying to sit here and spawn camp they're literally just spawning there and I'm trying to survive and uh, you know so my whole this whole thing is just me getting VSAT after VSAT and just non-stop hitting the spawns and you know, just get racking up on points. I, I honestly, I, I want to know what my score per minute was this game, especially in that first part of the game. I like it'd be insane to to see what my score per minute was. But I was really trying, really trying to hit this nuclear, especially when I saw that that uh, relentless, and I and I felt like I could push the pace even faster. But um, it actually, you know, that was pretty much the fastest part of the game for the most part. But I mean, like, there's definitely some quick some instances where I get really lucky where I think, you know, oh crap, like if my teammate hadn't been there, I think it's coming up right now, if my teammate hadn't been around, I probably most likely would have died. And uh, it, it's one of those things where like this guy just jumps off and he does like some crazy ass like Tony Hawk thing off of this, off the uh, the ramp up here. And I mean, shit, I'm sitting here just spraying, spraying, spraying and like hoping that I can duck, but my teammate, thank God, flashed them and killed them and leaves it up to me to just keep going on this nice hot streak over here and my whole point is you know if you're gonna play Call of Duty or if you're gonna play any game for that matter make sure you're having fun and if you're not having fun just turn the game off take a break you don't have to go back and, and you know try to please anybody I think I learned that after going back and watching my last commentary is that I'm not here to please anybody I'm here to definitely just you know entertain you guys with Gameplay that I find entertaining, and to me, this is entertaining gameplay. Just raw, uncut, fast gameplay, not sped up or anything. I'm just trying to play hard against people and making sure that I come out with at least a victory. You know, that's all I could ever want when I'm playing Call of Duty. I'm not just sitting there just to screw around unless I'm with my friends and stuff and we're just hanging out. And that definitely happens. I definitely do have those times where I like want to play, you know, do Hidden Masters or something like that. Or play Michael Myers in a private lobby with some friends or party games, all that stuff. But, you know, if I get in a lobby and I go into ground war, I'm going there, to, you know, to do business. I'm going to war. As my friends used to call it back in high school, we used to say, like, we used to call each other up at, or send a message on Facebook saying, hey, you want to go to war? Something like that. But that's just like a little quick, you know, quirky little thing that we used to have back then. 
And uh, yeah, we're pretty much like some of the biggest nerds ever. We would go to midnight premieres for superhero movies, all that kind of stuff. But honestly, like when you're trying to occupy your time, especially when you have money in your pocket after you start working and all that stuff, it's actually kind of cool to be able to go do things that you, you wish you could have done back back then in high school and stuff. And this is all the kind of stuff that we never used to be able to do because we were all poor and couldn't afford crap. And so now that we're actually able to afford everything, we can just go out and, and do whatever. It's actually really one of the best feelings ever. So if you guys are all young, you guys are like young commentators or young listeners, whatever, like getting older, it's not exactly you know the most fun part because obviously there's, I, I kind of dovetailed on it a little bit in my last commentary where I talked about how there's like a lot of things that you're going to start to experience and, you, and there's definitely like negative things and positive things. But don't let the negative things outweigh all the positive things that are in your life, especially all the, you know, if you're influenced by uh, someone special in your life, then go ahead and let them know that they're special and all that stuff, and go ahead and let them know that, that you're always going to be um, just somebody that, that's going to pretty much just always be there. And in my case, you know, I, I go back and I look at that commentary and I think, like, wow, like, I, I definitely seem a lot more depressed than normal and I really don't want to be that commentator that's known for being hey that's that depressing guy with a depressing voice or that guy with you know who's 20 he says he's 20 but he sounds like he's 13 but I definitely want to be known for one of those guys that just it's just an all-around genuine person that I'm just presenting myself to you guys the way I would present myself to anybody that I've ever met in person and uh, you know it's just I'm trying to be real with you guys and let you guys know that growing up is tough at times, but at the same time, it's an experience that you obviously you can't avoid, so you might as well make the best time of it. And I'm trying to make the best time out of my time, and uh, I understand that not everything's going to be happy-go-lucky and all that, but I would like to make it the most worthwhile experience ever. And pretty much that's all I really had to talk about in this commentary. Um, I'm not going to leave you guys with music or anything. I'm definitely going to finish it off. But I just want to talk, you know, just kind of briefly talk about the gameplay for a little bit. And really, this is just, you know, like I said, it's a quick nuclear gameplay using the AN94 with stock and fast mags. And normally I'd, I would run like quick draw and all that stuff, but I really like having stock on there. And and uh, it, one of one of my most favorite YouTubers actually is Dying Soldier. And honestly, like the way he plays just actually makes you know makes me play this way. And I find it like the, just that hard, fast-paced gameplay is, you know, completely balls out. That's the kind of stuff that I like watching. That's the kind of stuff that I like, you know, being able to mimic. And you know, I'm not trying to be a fanboy or anything like that. This is just how I have fun playing. I don't have fun playing any other way. But hopefully, you guys kind of, you know, can get a little grip on what I like doing in this game and all that stuff. But it was quick, like I said. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the commentary as well. I know I'm like all over the place, but I'm trying to get back in this commentating mood. And I'll try to get another video out to you guys pretty soon. But uh, for now, take it easy. Operation complete. Nice job, grunts.